Okay, so three methods to using your Chromebook for word processing, spreadsheets, etc. First one is going to be going along to office.com and signing in here with your Microsoft account. That may not be your Gmail address for yourself. Um, if your child has a Office 365 account from school, that's ideal to sign in with here. And we'll also look at that in a bit more detail later on. Go ahead and sign in and then you'll be welcomed along. You'll see if you've got any recent documents to look at. And then over on the left, you've got your kind of familiar Microsoft Office um, programs, if you like, but this is all through the web browser. So it's effectively Office Online. Um, we're just gonna look at Microsoft Word and word processing as the example in this video. So I've just selected Word and I'm just gonna come in and pick a blank document. And through the web browser, so through Chrome, on Chrome OS, on the Chromebook, I'm going to be able to edit, I'm going to be able to save, and I've just got a slightly more limited set of functionality through the browser than you would have, say, in your Windows PC with your kind of full fat Microsoft Office with Microsoft Word running there. But you can go along and look at this now on your Windows PC if you haven't got your Chromebook yet, or if you have got your Chromebook, go along and have a look there have a play around with it, see if it delivers the functionality that you need. If you're not doing anything too advanced, this is gonna be fine for you. So just typing away here in the web-based version, um, it's gonna prompt you as you see in the top right to go premium, etc. I'd ignore that for now, just get started with the free version. Um, it's saving automatically, you'll see there, and it's saving to your OneDrive. So your OneDrive, if you're not familiar with it, is basically your online cloud storage okay and you can see here so if we go into the menu that kind of waffle menu in the top left click into OneDrive and we're going to kind of see all our files that we've saved in there um, so you can see I've got the document I just created as well as a couple of test ones from just a moment ago prompt me to look at the vault we don't need to look at that now and then if I click on the document there again it's just going to launch it reopen it once again in the web browser so nice and easy um, you know not the full power of all the editing that you may get as i say on a windows desktop in word but it's going to deliver most of what you would need i would suspect but yeah have a have a play around with it have a look at it let's just see if it's going to open it back up yeah there we go okay so this is option one as i discussed we're going to look at three main options in this video Hopefully if I can type, here we go. So yeah, I'm just showing you one further edit um, that you can make in there. And again, it's all going to be saving this automatically as you type, as you're not going to worry about clicking in to save your document all the time. Okay, you've got options to share as well. So if you need to collaborate or share with anyone else with a Microsoft account, you can add comments. So, you know, it's designed to be collaborative, which is great. Um, and you've got the kind of sub menus up here that you might expect to see or be familiar with um, under the file menu as well so you know you've um, got these various options including print including the save as here um, so you have got a few options there to download as a pdf for example if you need it to be a bit more universal um, but as it says here you're not going to see an actual save button they're going to take care of that for you just by saving automatically Okay, so that's option one, as I mentioned. Um, now let's look at something slightly different. So the other option on the Chromebook, of course, is running Android apps. So if we open up the Google Play Store and we search in here for Microsoft Word, there's actually a, a Word app. Um, you can even use this on your Android phone as well. Of course, it's gonna be a bit more tricky, maybe on a, a smaller screen. Um, hit install on here just get this onto the Chromebook and we'll take a look now the difference between using it on a smaller screen if it's 10.1 inches or below is you can save and edit for free anything above that e.g. most Chromebooks anything but a Lenovo Duet probably um, you can't save and edit for free in the app version that's why I've shown you this second the web-based version is probably much better for you if you don't have an Office 365 account if you do have an Office 365 account, go ahead, install the app-based versions. You're gonna get a bit more functionality in there. You're gonna be able to save and edit for free. But as I say, as we'll see with my account, it's not an Office 365 account. It's just a bulk standard Microsoft account. 
it's not going to allow me when we get into it to save and edit so i just need to give it permission because it wants to save files on the device that's normal um, let's see it's set up for the first time okay here we are okay i'm just going to sign in again with my microsoft account again for you that may not be your gmail address it might be an outlook address for example or another one that you've kind of affiliated with a microsoft account my password just get logged in here and hopefully you've got something like two-factor authentication turned on you might get prompted for a code there as well yeah i'm just getting prompted for it here i'm going to save that credential in my google account highly recommend you do that on your chromebook and i'm just going to go to the authenticator app on my phone enter the code there if you're not familiar with uh, 2fa or mfa have a click on the video that I'm just going to promote up in the top right corner now. That's going to take you through um, securing your online accounts using that as a, an extra layer of protection on top of your password. Okay, so as soon as I fire it up here, it's prompting me to go premium. I don't want to do that. I don't want to pay $5.99 a month, so I'm going to skip for now. Um, so again, I'm just logging in with a standard Microsoft account in here, which is my option two, which is using the Microsoft Word Android app. Um, it's just going to go through a bit of data sharing that I don't want it to do, so I'm going to say don't send the optional data. I'm going to close this next one and just try and actually get started. Okay, so I'm going to go down here in the bottom left, open from other locations and pick my OneDrive, my personal OneDrive, and then there's the document I'm looking for. Click on that to open it up, and here we go, it's opened up within the uh, Android app version of Word, but immediately at the top in that banner, you can see it's telling me to edit and save. I need to have an Office 365 subscription, so pretty useless to me if I don't have one of those, and pretty useless to you as well, I imagine, if you don't. But if your child has one for school, this is ideal. As I say, use the app. If you don't, you probably either want to stick to method one that I showed you, which was using the web, or you might like to consider method three when we look at that in just a minute. Um, if I come back here into the web version again, I can still open up that Word uh, document in the web browser in Chrome and, you know, it's still there and I can play around make further changes if I need to. Um, so, you know, that would be my favourite approach still if I personally needed to use uh, Microsoft Office. Okay, so let's take a look at option three, which is using Google Docs. So if you just go along to docs.google.com or search for it, you'll come along to it. This is obviously Google's product. It's the way they prefer you to be using your Chromebook. Um, it's a pretty nice suite of products, and there's a lot of compatibility now with Microsoft Office. Um, it's something you can go along and have a play around with now on any PC, just, you know, ideally in the Chrome browser to get the closest compatibility to using it on a Chromebook. Um, but yeah, by all means, take a look at it either on your Windows PC or on your um, Chromebook, see what you make of it. Uh, you can just see me editing the uh, title there and missing the typo down below, but I'll correct that in just a minute. If you look at the file menu, you can see all the options you've got here. Um, interesting probably to look at the download options, so you can download anything you create here as a Microsoft Word. Dot docx um, as well as all these other options including pdf rich text and the things you expect to see um, it's a pretty competent system as are there other microsoft office equivalents such as google sheets instead of excel google slides instead of powerpoint you'll you'll kind of get used to it as you look in and see what they have to offer and then you've got google drive itself which you can think of as the equivalent of microsoft onedrive so this is where your documents are going to be stored where you're going to see them all I'm just going to switch to the list view to make it a bit clearer you can also just create a new document or a new folder from here so you've still got the concept of folders a bit like you'd have in onedrive or even in microsoft um, windows in explorer so you know you can have a play around here um, you can go and right click create a new document for example straight from uh, your google drive and then you're going to be back again creating and editing this next document i should mention at this point we've kind of got a 3a or a fourth option we looked at the microsoft app versions of word etc now let's look at the app version of google docs and you can get the same for the google sheets product etc as well so i'm just back into the play store search for docs found google docs and just hit 
download and install on that. So it's just running through downloading I'm just shy of 30 meg there and then it will install. Um, and we see one of the advantages of this is that you can work offline with it. Um, and it's just a bit more, I guess, of an immersive experience rather than being in the browser. So let's let it run through and install just like you can. And then you'll just be able to open that up and take a look. So let's hit open. Here we are. So it's the Docs app, as I say. So right on the go, whether you've got internet or not, as I mentioned. Uh, we'll just look through this intro. There's some other interesting points. We'll probably point out. So yeah, it's really collaborative. So sharing and editing is easy. It's going to automatically save to the web as well, and it's going to let you actually edit Microsoft Word documents too. So there we go. Um, and we can see straight away the two documents I've just been working on, and easily open one of those up to have a look at it there. So yeah, there's the app version as well. So I hope this has been useful. Um, we've kind of looked at the Microsoft versions, the Google versions, both the web-based and the app-based versions. I think the main thing that's going to be the decider for you is if you're a student or if it's for your son or daughter at school, whether they are a Google school, if you like, or a Microsoft school that has an Office 365 subscription already. Um, if none of that's applicable for you, it's really going to come down to your personal preference and taste. So have a play around with both see which you prefer and I hope it's useful. Um, if this video has been useful please do give it a thumbs up and a like. Please do consider a subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Go ahead and have a look on the channel there's lots of Chromebook content there already and there'll be more to come. Thanks guys!